Fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuck, Fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Try out something down it history road. We're gonna be talking about keyboards, pianos, pretty much anything along that line. Synthesizers. Uh, I'm Jackson. I'm Paulie. I'm Dan. I'm D. All right. So, uh, why do I have you two idiots between us? Because we are musical, and you are not. <laughs> wow! Library. <laughs> so basically, I I know as far as keyboards go, I know more like synthesizer based stuff, and Paul knows more of the like like Rhodes organs, pianos, organs, yeah, stuff like that, vintage electric piano, like transistor organs, tone wheel organs, uh, church organs. All, all right. That. So like, so where would you say that we would start then, in terms of like the first known? Would you classify it as percussive keyboard? Uh. Well, percussive right. mostly. The first keyboard would you'd be talking about the church organs, just in, the actual reed play uh, reed pipe organs. So that is sure it's percussive because you're hitting the keys, but it's almost a woodwind because they did use a lot. They used wooden uh, tubes, they used steel tubes, you know, whatever they could use at the time. But it functioned through pushing pressurized air through a tube that comes out of a reed. And if you've ever seen a church organ, you know, they, some of them have three manuals, so manuals like layers of keys, so they have three keyboard layers, or four. When, so you say it was a pipe organ? Yeah, pipe organ, that was the first keyboard Type instrument. Type thing? Yeah. And okay, so. Those, they, they had those as far back as ancient Greece. Ancient Greece, okay. Yeah. Because I remember like loosely, yeah, I remember loosely looking it up like a hydraulis or something like that. Hy hydraulis, that could, I think is what is I was able to find. Mm-hmm. That sounds right. Sound right. I, think, sounds I, I would think, yeah. Yeah. Sounds Greek to me. Yeah. Yeah, it's all Greek to us. Check out our Greek episode. <laughs> nice. But that no. was like almost, um, so that just used air to uh, flow through a reed. So imagine like you're playing a clarinet, but the air is being pushed out at the press of a key. And each pipe has to be, so there are the, 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 the way the stops work is um, there's different stops for, so they'll be, they're usually numbered 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 2 and 3 quarters, etc. And when you pull out a stop, you're pretty much playing an octave. So you, if you start in the middle of the keyboard pressing one key, if you pull out a 16, you're playing one of the lower octaves. You pull out an eight, now both of those are playing at the same time. You pull out a four, you could be pretty much playing four octaves at the same time on one note. But the human ear is not gonna hear like, oh, this is like a cacophony of different notes of different, like, What's you know. What's a cacophony? That's, that's what I am when you hear me talk. Oh, so an idiot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> an idiot of words. But, okay. Yeah, but um, that's how it all started off. Sounds. Yeah. What? I said like a bunch of belligerent sounds kind of coming. Oh, together. okay. Yeah, yeah, like... definitely belligerent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. But that all started there, and then um, it graduated. Uh, the clavichord came next, which was like a piano, but the strings. A rudimentary were... piano type thing. Nah, it's it was different because the strings were plucked. Instead of a mallet hitting Being the key, hit. okay, yeah. yeah. So it, and that's why you have like like Stevie wanted to use the clavinet, which is a modern or a more modern version of the clavichord, which is like like you know electric had pickups. Interesting. Yeah, use wah and everything. Then you had the harpsichord, which is the same concept, but it had more of a sharp, um, tingy sound to it as opposed to the clavichord. A little bit more metallic, almost. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then the piano came actually, so that's almost like fourth in line for keyboard instruments. The piano came after all of those others. Okay. And from that on... From, from you, can you uh, tell us just a broad spectrum of different keyboards that we should be aware of, like all the different types? Well, Obviously, yeah. he covered uh, harpsichord, clavichord, piano. That was like like old stuff. Like that's like the, the Stevie building Wonder up to used it. it. It's still kind of modern. That's a clavinet. That was like oh, similar. Like, yeah, it's like a Star Wars version. If you show that to like Beethoven, they'd be like, Go "What is this?" So going in more to like the synthesizer based thing. So like the first couple of synthesizers were analog and a lot of them were modular so basically you'd have a couple of different units that would patch together through patch cables or something along those lines and those were created to be like hardwired so that the voltage comes through it and gets sent through like voltage controlled oscillators and when it gets sent through those that creates a sound especially like with the filter bank so the filter bank filters out what frequencies you're able to hear. That sounds really fucking complicated. Yeah. So this uh, is a synthesizer, though. Yeah, that's more... Digital? Oh, uh, no, that's that's in the beginning is analog and What's modular. What's the difference? 
So you don't have to get all super tech geeky. I essentially analog is more created by the hardware within the synth itself. Digital is more based on the chip and a lot of the early ones had like floppy disks and stuff like that that you put okay. into it. Okay. Like it's it's a memory of sound almost as opposed to the sound being created out of like electrical circuitry. And another main difference is the analog ones are more based in uh, four different They're wave. more based? Uh, well, yeah. Based. Very Technically. based. Technically. <laughs> no, they have four different waveforms usually, which is uh, sine, sawtooth, square, and triangle, and they make different types of sounds. And the digital ones will be more like, oh, you can make it sound like a trumpet, or you can make it sound more like a piano, like in the earlier... Now let me hear days. the trumpet. Uh, so basically... Little could play. Of, we could play copyrighted ELP music. Yeah. He's, he's above that. I don't know if that would be a good it. idea. But. The trumpet. <laughs> nice. Nice. Little bit. Of, with, little bit of Monica in my life. With the way it sounded, it wasn't it sound, like in the more early ones. It wasn't like as pristine. It kind of didn't really have much development to it. So it was kind of like what you would expect the trumpet to sound like if you just kind of dreamed it up. But it wasn't like. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a hundred percent right. Now. Uh, there's like different groups and stuff like that now, like different types of music that focus on that, that focus on that specifically. Not that close. Huh? Not that close. Yeah, okay. That focus on that specifically is people who like those sounds because it has a specific character to it, but it's not as refined as like some of the more later ones came to be. And also like the analog definitely had more of like a warmth to it, you know what I mean? Like. Because it's just generating it based off of the electricity itself. It felt slightly more real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So wait, like it was unique in its own way, but you could almost sounds like we got a question. You could almost mimic I'm it. Gonna, I'm gonna ignore What's what you said. Which was the one that they used to play Axel F on? Uh, that's probably digital. Is that dun, 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 yeah? Dun, dun, yeah, that's that was that's a newer. digital. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that doesn't go into the like can thing we, where I was. Can we talk about when they actually like started getting into prominence and when they yeah, came so about? Yeah, so 1960s type of thing? was a lot of the original. Like around that time period was a lot of different. The OG uh, analog ones. Yeah, like where they would start being more widely used. Like not very widely used, but there was composers that were using them, uh, such as like Wendy Carlos, Lamont Young, like people who had started incorporating it into their music itself. Uh, before that, it was biggest kinda, names you can well, think of. It's Keith a, Emerson is a good one. Yeah, that's more. Uh, that kind of, he goes back and forth between like synthesizers and also like yeah more uh, the stuff that you're talking about. Well, he was really uh, into the Moog synthesizer, like the yeah um, Moog synthesizer, the analog of the first. tower that was built specifically oh, for him. That was about ten feet name. tall of all just settings and patches that he could work through. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about with the modular. That's how it kind that's of. That's what he was fucking talking about. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. That's, that's what cool. he was fucking talking about. <laughs> yeah. So basically, that's. You patch different boxes and units together. A little like, bit louder. Cre- you patch the different units together, which create the sound. And if you have one that like is designated for the filter, you could patch that into the oscillator, and it'll take it and make it sound more muted or more open. You know what I mean? Like, so it's a camera. Oh, right there. I'm I'm not good. At this. No, <laughs> no, you're good. You're just staring at me, bro. To, yeah, no, I, I, know. I like this intimacy, but like, I want to know too. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> it, it, true. Our audience. No, nah, yeah, all five ba- of you. Basically, uh, <laughs> maybe you know what? Maybe you should share this to like a sixth person. Yeah, I should. Honestly, I will share oh. it with your mom. Share it with your sister. Like, comment, True subscribe, fans. or don't share it with everybody. Oh, uh, are we doing that grind now? Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Or don't. Like, like comment, subscribe. Like, like comment, subscribe. Oh, like, like, comment, comment, subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Or don't. I don't you, care. You got to really yeah, drill so, it into them. Synthesize. What's a subscribe mean? Subscription. <laughs> Wait, right? That's what See, it means. See, this is why I wanted to bring the taser. <laughs> that would have been a good yes. idea. That would have been a really good idea. Trust me, I'm aware. Paulie needs a taser. Yeah. <laughs> Got a cattle prod him uh, in sometimes. I'll ask the wife true, to borrow true. it later. But yeah, yeah, you'll have to find it for next time, I think. Get it. So, <laughs> synthesizers. Mm-hmm. They synthesize. Are different from keyboards, or they're they one are, and the same? Well... When they first started out, for the most part, they were keyboard based. So, like, based, yeah, yeah. Based. So, uh, it, it is kind of like a similar thing, like what Paul was talking about, how you have the organs and then you have the key, like the piano uh, synthesizer. Kind of like falls into that as well, especially the more early ones. Now, there's ones that aren't necessarily keyboards. Like, there's one, like I have one that's called a uh, 
uh, field kit, which is more of a workshop type thing, so it doesn't have a keyboard on it, but it wait, wait, it started. It wait, keyboard oh yeah, the, it doesn't necessarily need to have keys. Too. Yeah, That's another important a lot thing. of them did in the beginning. Like all of them, pretty much did. But There's some that kind of broke out of that and use the patching from the modular ones themselves. So like is you could ha there are some that you there's literally a strip that you could use your finger and like you know how like I, um, too, is yeah. it theremin? It's like a th it sounds like a th it's like reminiscent of a theremin in the way that you can some of them manipulate like that. tone. But it's not like exactly a theremin. Yeah. yeah. You ever see how theremins play? That's some weird oh, shit. Oh yeah. You, gotta like, you yeah. got a hand controlling the volume and you have a hand controlling the pitch. You yeah. gotta manipulate the field around it essentially. Yeah, they're really cool. They are I want definitely. One. I also yeah. want a hurdy gurdy. You can no, get a really cool. but is one. You can get a theremin for three hundred. Hurdy gurdy, you were saying what? High end like medium yeah, good, end was like good ones, like actual quality ones, uh low end is about two thousand dollars starting. American. Yeah, that's, that's insane. A lot. Uh, it's a cool concept. But it's, they're like, fucking it's like a melody. Awesome. Like, well, yeah, they Melotron's are really, really cool. cool. They are awesome it's, is it's, what they are. I think it's what they refer to as a, uh, a groaning music. Yes. Yeah, droning, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a droning. He, he, he's really good. into droning music, yeah, like too. He, he can give you a lot. I want a didgeridoo. Didgeridoos are really cool. How about you cool. didgeridoo? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, say, okay, so... How about you didgeridoo fuck off? The, okay, so... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm watching the Wiggles, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. And they have a didgeridoo... <laughs> Not this story again. And, like, they, they have a didgeridoo, so I'm like... Hey, I kind of want a didgeridoo, so I look it up on Amazon. And on the page, it's like... Of course, the best place to look for musical, the musical instruments. Musical accident insurance. And I'm oh, like, what? what the fuck is a musical <laughs> accident? And how do I need insurance? Like, what describes me... Like, am I playing the didgeridoo and all of a sudden I just blow the note too hard and it explodes? Like, what quantifies yeah. this? I would think that... that all I'm saying is the mouthpiece is covered in beeswax and it can look tempting, but just don't do it. Don't I'm, ask me how. This is <laughs> why no. But what don't quantifies try is a musical accident? You're the type of idiot that has... As a warning label for a vacuum, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, true. True. <laughs> well, it'll rip your dick off. <laughs> I've seen so it. wait, it has three different settings. I've seen and all of them will rip its dick off. It's got two different <laughs> yeah. settings, high and low, and both will rip your dick off. This is the, this is the vacuum that sucks dick really well. Yeah, exactly. Blowjob <laughs> vacuum. <laughs> I literally just got the vacuum joke. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no, it's, 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 oh, hell it's like a little while. No. It's like, hey. I literally just got it. that. I was thinking of the vacuum welcome, I have where you push it and it... Welcome white, to the podcast, buddy. Is, you know welcome to the podcast. It's quick thinking. Why just gives you no reference? <laughs> it's a very quick thinking on the, on the spot there. Yeah, no, what, what, what the fuck quantifies as a musical accident? Like, I would you, say, like, vocal nodules for people who sing... That but might be for, like a musical like, action, uh, accident. But it's for it's for an instrument. It's like are you something playing? happens to your hands and you play piano. But well, how so does that yeah, but that's so not key. that's not. You could have an accident. So the old no, tone the true. fucking key, uh, the 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 flap comes down as you're playing piano. <laughs> the old tone wheel organs were like 300 pounds, and the one guy uh, Keith Emerson that was big on those and synthesizers, he used to. Did um, he die? So um, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, he died. He killed himself because he started getting arthritis. Yeah. It's a curse of the artist. It's Whatever cool. you use to make your art, it starts like getting fucked up near the end of your life. So he just so it was Paul's to fault. all of it our viewers out there, right? All of our viewers, uh, we just have vocal nodules coming up later. I guess vocal nodules. Yeah, it's where uh, there's little nod, uh, notes that like develop low calcium shit that happens on the vocal cords. Uh, singers get it a lot. Oh, that's yeah. a musical yeah, yeah. accident right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that yeah. permanent damage or no? Maybe yeah, like yes. Uh, that sucks, man. If yeah. you're in a marching band um, and you fall, it requires surgery. Tuba. Yeah, that's that's what I would typically. But surgery does always work too. That's art. That's the, art. Does the accident have to be is, while you're uh, playing it? Like, speaking. No, yeah. That's like yeah, we're speaking uh, over me. Sorry, bitch. No, it's true. Yeah, like it's it's, it's like a curse thing. Like you know, it's, it's always like stories of artists that like whatever like you know whether it's their hands to play they start getting arthritis whether it's their eyes to see when they make art they start losing it sucks <laughs> but yeah this guy he he uh so what can arthritis. i look forward to you losing uh Everything. probably <laughs> knock on wood motion of my fingers because i'm playing piano oh so you actually play this yes we yeah, both do yeah oh jesus i feel sorry for anybody who lives next to you oh no, you, should. <laughs> you should we only had the cops called once i thought it was right? twice was it twice? I think it was twice. It was the one time, but that was at like eight o'clock. That like, was or seven o'clock. Joe's fault. 
No, well, it was all. It was Let's all just blame it on Joe. It was he, Joe's fault. He, he had the shoegaze guitar, and then I had the microphone inside the saxophone. Blame, blame and I don't, yeah, I don't true. play saxophone. <laughs> yeah, it's you, true. Don't, was... you don't play saxophone anymore. Well, I didn't know at all, and now I know. Right, he just picked I know, it up. I, yeah, I can play loud enough to get the cops here, but <laughs> I can't really hold a note on it. Cop wrangler. <laughs> you don't blame it on the a a a alcohol. Yeah, true. But that's something. Speaking of, what are you drinking? You don't have to go specific. This? Yeah. Oh, Whiskey? it is, uh... Am, it, I allowed to say, rum? am I allowed to say a brand name? Yeah, just not sponsored. Yeah, we're not sponsored. Uh, it's Philadelphia whiskey. It's, not sponsored. It's cheap as possible. It's about almost <laughs> two liters. And, Ooh, big uh, spender. Cowboy dirt shit whiskey. That's my forte. Uh, Forster's not sponsored. I am using the disposable I got from the uh, event. Not sponsored. What is that? People. That's pretty not cool. Is that yeah. cardboard? Yeah. yeah. So okay, real quick, because like, we're not not. Quick little side tangent. Not, not sponsored. sponsored. Yeah, it's it folds. Should be. We just think that they're cool people. Should be. Yeah. Yeah, they're friends of the what? show, kind of. It folds down, and then you have the separate little metal bowl, and it comes in a little plastic baggie. What? And you. That's crazy. You That's pretty it, sick. And it's got the. Where'd you get that? Uh, I won it in the uh, smoke. Shed thing for oh, the. It's a major award. Shed theory. That's pretty cool. Yeah, shed theory. Shed theory. Shout out shed theory. Shout out shed theory. Yeah, it sounded I got, like there was still drinking there. In that, the Arizona? Yeah. No, it's empty. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, it's uh, been funnier if they're kind of friends of the show. Been nice. No, that's really cool, though. I like it. it. Uh, check them out on Instagram. So theoretically, you could like just keep the bolt piece and like, yeah. keep, like make another yeah, one yeah. out of cardboard. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, essentially, if you know what you're doing, yeah. Or yeah, they, they, I think they sell more like, cool five packs and stuff too, and everything. Yeah. Really yeah, it doesn't nice. look like speak at the mic, please. Expensive. They uh. But yeah, not sponsored technically, but yeah, they're just friends of the show now. But I yeah. wish I still smoked weed. That's cool. Like, it, there's so much stuff they have now. Like, it's, it's all cool. Like, it's all about weed, yeah, right? We should note that we are in New York. Recreational weed is a okay. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, now. it's yeah. legal. Don't worry, we're all over the age. Just yeah. happened recently, but yeah. Yeah, like back in the day, it was like you know, still like you had to go to someone. You know, like you know, it wasn't like <laughs> yeah, it was a big old fucking hubbub. The culture. Check out our marijuana like, or our th uh, or our CBD episode and subscribe. And subscribe. Don't subscribe or subscribe. Subscribe or Maybe don't. Maybe yeah. like it a little bit. Get our algorithm. Bring it on the alco uh, alcohol, baby. So and this is grain alcohol. <laughs> yeah, that's actually just <laughs> a Everclear. giant bottle of Everclear. I can yeah. smell it from here. This is yeah. my chaser, actually. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Wait, I'm sorry. You have fucking like pure grain alcohol. <laughs> yeah, right here. <laughs> Yeah, it's a gallon. He's actually like... going blind before he loses function in his hands. All right, I said grain alcohol because I didn't want to like embarrass myself. It's actually turpentine. I found it in my garage. <laughs> That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. I feel like you made it in your garage. I, <laughs> I've seen your garage. Unfortunately, that seems like the type of shit you would do. I saw him making it too. That's the thing. I, I saw it. I did want to make whiskey though. I wanted to make some. I saw. Yeah, I you look get, like the type of moonshine motherfucker. You want to be, you want to be lazy about it? Just make some mead, dude. That's it's true. Really true. It's like just a jar of honey and water, my dude. You just let it sit yeah, there. Yeah, that's like, crazy. No, 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 you need yeast. Yeah, yeah yeast. yeast too. I got yeast. I made, I made pizza dough one time. So wait. <laughs> wow. What was this episode about? Synthesizers uh, and keyboards and apparently... Uh, yes, we're, okay, we're stumbling, okay. we're stumbling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stumbling, stumbling. That's that part. Uh, <laughs> what I know about this is uh, Yamaha makes some keyboards. Yeah, they, they make a lot. Uh, uh, digital keyboards usually, right? Uh, well, back in the day, so I have, I wanted to bring it, but it's like 80 pounds. Organs, yeah. Yeah, so they used to, because, all right, the, the one of the big, the two big, um, co they call them combo organs, but they were transistor-based organs that were meant to compete with the larger oh. tone wheels. Because, all right, hold, hold on, hold on. Based off of our audience, talk to us like we're five. Okay. So, <laughs> the organs they used to make when they, when, uh, what was his name? Leonard Hammond? I had his name. Um, the, the, the creator of Hammond Fact Organs checker. was... Good job. Lawrence Hammond? Good job. Hammond. Yeah, Lawrence Hammond. We got a fact checker here. That was quick. Yeah, we got a new fact checker. Oh, okay, cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah, Lawrence Hammond, sorry. We feed so, him weed. So when they started <laughs> One whole marijuana equals an answer. Yeah, when there we go. Our original, our original fact checker, my wife is pregnant, and I can't, we can't smoke around her, so you got Fair. this bitch here. No, that's understandable. That's good. Congratulations. Thanks. Hey, God bless. Hey, congratulations. Hey. Anyway. Bring it around, Johnny. Anyway. Well, so okay. like, I got a special drink today, too. What type is that? It's Livewire. Not orange. sponsored. Oh, not sponsored. I've never seen yeah. that before. I found yeah. it at a place in Queens, of all places. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so, Lawrence Hammond. All right, so the original, the first electric organ was created by Lawrence Hammond, who was not a musician and not a 
instrument like he was inventor. Just a cool dude. He was an inventor. Yeah, he was a cool dude. So he started out invent like making electric clocks. I think he had like a hundred. I don't know the exact number. It was above a hundred patents throughout his life, and he realized that the the gears and the and the wheels he was using, the, pretty much the mechanism he was using in his electric clocks, could produce a musical tone. So he created what is now the Hammond tone wheel organ, and. They are big. They are like 400 pounds, 500 pounds, like especially during their inception. And he came out with them to try and compete into the church organ market because to buy a church organ with every pipe, reed, the setup, you know, you're looking at even today like hundreds of thousands of dollars, tens of thousands on like the like you know decent end. Yeah. So he he partnered up with some people that knew what they were doing with instrument wise, and he was able to create the first electric organ using tone wheels, which were divided per, you know, per not per key necessarily, but per tone. So an organ has draw bars, and it's the same concept as the pipe organ I was talking about before. Where Five-year-old. All right. So there, Jesus you, Christ. So there's eight, there's, there's <laughs> eight bars you can pull out. The lowest bar is supposed to replicate a 16-foot um, pipe organ, pipe. Which would sound like two octaves lower than middle than the middle C. So the it's like the fuck is an octave right. in middle okay. C. All right, so an octave. <laughs> yeah. So, holy shit. So essentially, five year old. <laughs> they right, know so, colors. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. That's a note. So oh, that's now I went lower. Yeah, lower. I went an octave okay. down. There we but go. But it's the same note, just a couple like, octaves actually. Yeah, and then oh, like I can't go lower, but. Oh, that was a one five eight, uh, but it's pretty much an octave is going higher, but it's the same note or, or lower. lower. Exactly. So, so you could. What's so, up? What's up? I thought the, save me from this. I thought the first electric organ was invented by Joseph Mortimer of Gainville in the early eighteen eighties. This guy's the liar. first electric organ. Let me see. I might be right. And it went dark. What kind of? Oh, it, he, it, what happened is. It's no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah, a, oh. yeah, I got you. Okay. Look that up at home. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see why that's funny. <laughs> it's a good Please little shout out there. Please do not look it up at home. It's a good little oh, shout out. It's a play on words, yay. I made a funny. Good job, good job. <laughs> so we're talking about the iron lung. The, the lung is an organ, yes? Yeah, that's I, what we're talking about. Wink, wink, nodge, nodge. Sure, it's yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The no, but... It is a penis. Sim pump. Simplest terms, you could play multiple <laughs> notes at one time. So there were eight draw. There were eight bars you pull out, and it, and if you go out all the way, it's full volume. Put it all the way in. I am play. sure that somebody is paying attention, but I am not. I wish I had a whiteboard. <laughs> it's I'm hard to. Ex of. It's so, yeah. It's hard. Like it's hard to explain in simple terms. That's about the only thing that's hard right now. <laughs> Fair. I I'm glad to hear that honestly. Hey, but we are, basically, we are all entitled to our. Uh, our own little kinks, it's okay, it's I was, fine. I was gonna say, um, neurodivergent ramblings. Yeah, true, that happens. I feel like, I feel like we all got them to some, like, I feel like everybody's got them to some degree. I'm fine with it, I'm fine with it, I just understand literally it's none of it. It's just going, blue screen. It's like so, when I went no, on No, 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 a while. blue screen has words. This is just, <laughs> 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 Alright, so take, um, alright. Exactly. So, take this Powerade bottle. That's not Powerade. Take this. Nice try, <laughs> that is a Powerade. That's, All right, that's, take these bottles. No, that's water. So this is the middle <laughs> note. This is the note that a key should play. Everclear. You can, yeah, here's Everclear. Oh, yeah, Everclear. <laughs> no, 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 so, no, no. No names. Not sponsored. Oh, so this okay, is, not sponsored. This pipe would be, this is bigger, so the note is lower. This note is middle size, so You're middle right. side. This note is higher, because it's the smallest. So No, that one's the smallest. Wait, wait, wait. So, it's, so this is one note. Now imagine you play, like, this is a lower note, this is a higher note. Now imagine you could play all these notes at the same time. Like oh, instead why? of picking a guitar, because chords. Yeah. You're pretty much creating you're taking So all these notes, if you play them all at once, the human ear is not gonna distinguish the difference between all three notes. It's going to just hear one tone. Yeah, one sound. A mixture of all the different frequencies that are playing at once. So you'll be playing a high note, a middle note, and a low note all at the same time, but it'll sound like one thing. So hold on. Let me see if I can pull it up. I got like a digital keyboard on here. I can kind of explain what's got away. So what you're saying is, is like, I was trying to say. if you're playing Guitar Hero and how they have the three colors, it creates one sound. But if yeah. you hit an individual color, 
It sounds like a different thing. It's like if you yeah. hit one color, you would be guitar playing. Guitar Hero. You would there be we go. Guitar oh. Hero is yeah, a good sure. example. It's like, yeah. right, so instead of playing green, re the colors themselves, you press one, but it's Why playing. Why is it colors with you? It's. What? Bruh. That's it's playing all. Paul's <laughs> racist. No. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> it's pl it's like playing well, every every color at once. It's yeah, like playing every every button with a press of one. Okay, so you'll hit the you'll hit the green, and you'll be hitting the green, red, and yellow yes. all at once by just hitting green. Yes, and if you Neat. play the red, you're going to be playing the red, yellow, yellow and blue. blue. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the human ear is not going to hear the difference. It's going to hear it as one. You you might you can dissect it, sure, but the way. It comes out, it sounds like you're playing one. So you're pretty much using harmonics to create a single sound out of which Hammond organs had eight bars, which you could pull out all different notes. And about five of them were, this, five of the bars were the so, same note as each other. So like, let's say you pull out this bar, it's like, uh, and then you pull out another bar and it's like, uh, so you pull out the two of them, you'll hear both of those together. Yeah. And they're constructed in a way that- So using so, the same red, green, blue, uh, sorry, red, green, yeah, yellow, yeah. and then red, yellow, blue, you'd be hitting the red and the green to get red, green, yellow, blue? Yes. Yeah, okay. essentially, yeah. Correct. You're playing multiple notes at once, and the way, and it's it's structured in a way, if you um, look, if you... Orange look, equals hard mode. Nobody it, plays it. Yeah, no one plays orange. Yeah. If I you, play, it, it works with music theory, because to. there are certain notes that when they're played together, it's like a perfect fifth. If, if you play certain... Oh, what? A perfect fifth, mm -hmm. sorry. So I'm not going to get into that, but the point is there are certain notes, if you play two notes together, it'll sound, sound like... sound good. Yes. It'll <laughs> sound really good. nice. Oh, and if okay. you play two notes, yeah. other, a, a separate two notes, it'll sound like shit. Bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, it'll sound or, like, just to the human ear, it's not pleasing, but the way okay, it's constructed... Okay, I understand that. So, so, it's like, so it's like uh, colors, like colors that go yeah. together yeah. versus yeah. colors that don't go together. Like green and red don't really go together, purple and orange. Mm -hmm. Purple okay. and yellow. No, but like, if oh, you take... So think about this, sorry, like... If you take, I think it's like, let's say blue and red, uh, for example. That make purple. Yeah, so yes. then what you're doing at that point is taking one draw bar is blue, one draw bar is red, you put it together, make purple. You know what I mean? So it's one. Yes, we established that that's by, literally, yeah. that's literally by the, the guitar best, hero analogy. That's the yeah, best that's, way. That's the I, best way to say that's it. That's the yeah. best way to explain it, yeah. Yeah. We established that with guitar hero already. Yeah. That's Thank you for reestablishing well, no, it. Well, no, because that wasn't I'm, combining yeah. the colors into a new color. It's like, because all the tones played together pretty much create its own sound that you wouldn't get from just playing each note separate, like one, two, three, four. You're playing one, and it's all coming out at once. So you're creating a new color or a new sound by combining existing ones. Womp womp. But that was crazy. It was for the time. It was crazy. Well, they did that with pipe organs, but to be able to do that using circuitry, because the way it works, hardwire synthesizer stuff. At yeah. that point, yeah. You have to speak into the mic. Yeah, hardwired well, stuff. Not. No, nah, I got you. I'm trying to like figure out my best way to do it, but I feel like this is. Well, you don't tip it over like that, idiot. Yeah. Yeah, that's. We don't take Paul's example with microphone. No, I'm kidding. There's so many squares in that. You got uh, all these squares make a circle. The, all these squares make a circle. True. He true. went to the store. He got a. He went to the store. He got a microphone. He was like, "Yo, I got a bunch of microphones." And we come back, and they're all the wrong types of microphones for what we needed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, is that the Sam Ash ones? Yeah. Yeah, the so, cardio. Yeah, or the yeah, they were cardioids, right? You hyped it up, and then we get back there, and it's like we can't it use worked, these. Though. We had I had I, one in front of the drums, and then two just ha they were hanging from uh, rafters in the garage. Yeah. So. I, I will say that I've learned a lot. Trying to get into some voice, uh, minor voiceover stuff and doing the podcast. I've learned a, yeah. more than I should have about microphones. Yeah, you know a lot. Like, it's it's similar in the same sense where it's like at first you just kind of have to like explain something. Like if you were to go into detail about the explain microphone, explain it to it a sound, five year old. Like yeah, I said, yeah, yeah there we go. Kind of like. Like this sound sounds higher. This sound so, sounds lower. But then you're like the dynamic range. Is so, it, you know? so what's yeah. your favorite keyboard instrument type thing? D, because we haven't heard from you at all. Yeah, true. Uh, I like the classic pipe organ and the like the like a regular concert piano. Nice, like a grand piano, like the big. Um, the big yeah, like almost the Frank Sinatra. Piano. Yeah. The one you need to play uh, Hungarian symphony, Hungarian uh, Rhapsody Number no. Two. Yeah. Yeah. So like basically grand a regular grand piano, mm -hmm. essentially. Uh, probably a Moog uh, System Fifty Five. 
Um, the fuck is that? Explain a little bit. Giant. I'm sure one person who's listening or watching, whichever, maybe knows it. Yeah, fair. Or Bukla Music Easel. So that's even I'm, more obscure. Yeah, that's really hard to find. But basically, there's like a couple of them uh, that people use. I only know of one artist that uses one, but they're like. A synthesizer with a keyboard layout, but instead of pressing the buttons, it's the sound is created by touching them because it's like a metal plate. Instead of like actually buttons, it's you touch the metal and it creates the signal. It creates the voltage control. You know, so sensor, I've, the oscillator. I've seen somebody wire up uh, like a almost keyboard type thing to a banana. Yeah. So mm -hmm. basically, what they're is doing is that what you're talking about. Something similar to no, that? No, it's like, okay, so imagine I have a keyboard here, right? Keyboard that there. Very keyboard. Thing. Yeah, and there's... Such keyboard. F such keyboard. And there's regular uh, buttons, like white and black, you know, keyboard Jesus buttons. Christ. Correct. Or, or you can have the Did one that I'm talking Did about. Did you, it's that's the, the System 55. That's it's the, the different Move one. the System 55 with essential extras. It's $30,000. Yeah. And it looks like it takes up a whole fucking room. That's a different it's one. Like three different things. Just casual stuff. Yeah. It's, it's type just in, a whole fucking thing. Type in... Uh, Keyboarders have the most expensive B -U -C -H -L -A. hobby. B-U-C-H-L-A. I, I don't know about that. Yeah, I just do. type that in. I don't know about it. I most do. expensive. B-U-C... Yes. Out of instruments? H-L-A. Oh, sure. Out of instruments. Actually, maybe. All right. Violins. H-L-A. Concert, like concert instruments, Michelle? there are some really high-end ones. So but keyboards, it's hard. a picture of one of those. Sure, I'll, I'll give you to, keyboards. I would I'll say explain that to the camera. I don't know and I'll if it's explain the to most Jackson. expensive hobby, okay, so, though, musically. Well, pipe so organs. Go like, down if you want a pipe organ, organ like this one that you just you, like, you, literally you churches usually range no, about like, hundred thousand, couple hundred thousand. Right, yeah. This one. Well, that's kind of cute, but. The reason why I'm showing you that is because this is what I'm saying, where the buttons aren't actually buttons; they're touch plates. So it's like a touchscreen phone, essentially, but like instead it's a piece of metal that you have to make contact with, and it makes it create the sound. You know okay. what I'm saying? So it's like instead of being... And this is the System 55 or the other one? That's the other one I was saying. The System 55 is a modular one, so that goes back to what I'm saying. like With the floppy disk pulling things in and out? No, it's floppy, an emulator. Floppy. I'll Jesus get into that Christ. too. Christ! Modular would be, I have this part here, I have this part here, I have a wire that goes from here into here, and now this controls this. Oh, okay. You understand, like, so that creates all these different ways that you can go about creating the signal and I, manipulating the sound. I don't understand, but I'm gonna say I do. <laughs> so, uh, basically, the uh, um, the emulator that you were saying is the one with the floppy disk. So you put floppy a sound floppy. on it; it's gonna be like. Think about like a regular emulator. You put a game on it, and you're not actually playing the real console, but you're playing the simulate. You know, the game Sir, itself. I would like you to know that I don't pirate anything. I I haven't in a long time. I but strictly pay for all my shit. I'm sure you know what it is, though. You know what I mean? I'm sure you know. Nope. Damn. Okay. I'm a good boy. We got goody two shoes over here. I, think I emulated a game not once. What is an emulator? Okay, so basically, <laughs> if so, I. Uh, yeah, let's let's not argue about what that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. be real. If you're watching this, you probably know. It's like a yeah. copy. Yeah. Huh? It's like a copy. Yeah, it's a copy. So it's yeah. like yeah. copying it, it, it onto something else to use a there. A distilled version that you could use on something that's not actually what it, it was yeah. made for that. You know it's a I mean? proxy. Yeah, essentially a proxy. Uh, what's your... Ow. What's your keyboard of choice? Uh, I have a lot, but... Choose one. I mean, you can't go wrong with the B3 Hammond. That's the uh, that's pretty much the keyboard that anyone in the 60s and 70s in any kind of rock or blues group, even and jazz organist would use. It's a typical tone wheel. But then there's um, and there's one again, called the Vox. That uses the electrical gearing. Yeah, yeah. so it, it's it's pretty much like magnetized rods. In, like next to a tone wheel that is generating the sound that and the teeth on the tone wheel are unique to the tone that it is producing it's or almost is like that able to be modular and or uh, uh, emulated out yeah there's a lot of emulators like um, one thing uh, Dan will know too it's a VST yeah it's a virtual it's pretty much a virtual cop um, all right so say instead of having the organ virtual in front of you you have it on a computer screen yeah all the features that are on it, it sounds, some of them sound really good, some of them don't, you know, but yeah. they try to copy it 
as good as possible with all the features that came with it. And some of them are done like, let's say, you take... So, so I was talking about, is this B3 Hammond, yeah, yeah. is this a analog synthesizer or is it a digital synthesizer? It's, it's an Effectively analog, is what I'm asking. It's an analog... Which a keyboard as synthesizer, to. It's, they're kind of, it's kind of similar because the sound's being created through the electrical circuits, but it's being created in that instrument. It's not... Uh, so it's, it's not a, it's not a digital like sound that's being put into the memory. So so it's analog. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah that's like all you need to was say. Talking about yeah. earlier. Like a lot of modern keyboards, yeah. it's all memory nowadays. That's why like a lot of the old stuff, like synthesizers, like organs, electric pianos are cool because they create the sound in front of you, as opposed to they get a chip with like a memory bank of sounds that just play. This every is key what it touch. should sound like. Yeah. 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 Then you have the Mellotron. That's more what I was saying with the emulators too. They're kind of more like that. Like this is what this should sound like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for me, it's that giant floor mat that kids play with. That's sick, The yeah. piano. Go to the I played on one of those. Old yeah, Toys R yeah, Us, yeah, yeah. New York Are City, rest in peace. Movie, yeah. Uh, big. Those, yeah. Those yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. I want a nice 20-foot one of those. Why, That's why, my keyboard Why haven't you gotten one yet? Because they're money. I know. You should How, just, much How much do they cost? A 20-foot fucking <laughs> step on piano. Yeah. Are Isn't you that? serious right now? I don't know. I don't know it's probably is. like $1,000 because no. it's roll-up. Yeah, but it's like... Yeah. No, it's got to be at least the quality. And I don't think it matters, honestly. I think Jack... It's I your think size. He's in the right Look at the girth on that thing. <laughs> That's a yeah. lot of money. <laughs> That's a lot of girth. Yeah, 20 true. foot? Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, it is. Those are fun, though. If you if you know you're like the notes you're hitting, like it's cool to try and yeah, but try doing that with your feet. You'll be like tap dancing until, saw, until the cows come home. I saw some guy not at that pace. Whoa! <laughs> I saw some guy online who had one of those floor mat uh, keyboards that was set up in front of the toilet in the bathroom. So when he was going to the bathroom, he would play it like that. Oh, like, that's, 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 that's a cool insane. thing to have. I was like, I would actually do that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I like one of those in my bathroom. Yeah, I, I would stay in there for way too long, though. That's a good way to stay away from the phone, too. Like, you know, it's so easy to just, like, you know, scroll on your phone and just go Doom on. scroll. Yeah. You're still playing with Hopefully you do so. scroll us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. We're the hopefully we're the reason that you're in the bathroom too long. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad thing. You just love looking at us, yeah. well, listening to us. You have to. I got it. It's the only way to listen to us. You don't want to. Hot ironically, but we're if you're only not on YouTube. But right if you're now. not subscribed and you're getting this for no cost, what are you doing? <laughs> subscribe and comment. And comment. Also, Please. no cost. Yeah, no, no cost. cost to subscribe. No cost to them. No cost to subscribe. No cost to them. Yes, that's true. You too. Could save this poor child. Look at how hungry he is. I'm hungry. Look at this fat mess and how hungry <laughs> he is. Has You're as fat as me now. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Oh yes, you no. You weigh as much as me now. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. <laughs> That's not how this works. <laughs> Jackson, I tried to bring you to the gym and get you on my lifting routine, and I, you just you couldn't go through it. Like, come on, man. You I heard those the fire. No! You remember you I saw heard me that, about you saw that. Me that com competition? You recorded me and everything? No! Yeah, <laughs> I, I heard. I competed! I, I heard. I did strong, man! We're salvaging more lore! I heard about this. Paul was telling me that he did this for you and that he couldn't keep up. Yeah, I asked you to record it's me crazy. and, like, you just. You... Yeah, they were shit shots, I'm aware. That's messed up, Paul. What, me? You know? <laughs> 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 I do still have those videos, though. Why are you so quiet down there? I'm trying to see if I Research. can find the 20-foot piano <laughs> mat. <laughs> there you go. The biggest one I found was 71 inches so far, and it's 50 bucks. I mean, that's not bad. 71 inches? That's over 6 feet. That's not bad. I'd get it. 50 bucks, not bad, definitely. I'd take that for a workout routine. Try well, to play it's just like, a, like a keyboard? No, like a floor one, like, but like a big one. So you have to like literally jump all That's over the place. That's just Dance Revolution. You're basically I know, playing Dance Dance Revolution. That would be sick. What though. has the most keys? Uh, uh, keyboard for a computer? Nah, probably. Well, no, that's not true. Wouldn't it be yeah, like one like, of those big keys opera, opera like, piano key? Uh, I like, put a church organ. Yeah, yeah I'd church say organ. church organ definitely. Yeah. They I got like six rows of keys, like in like all. Of I forgot no, the store, but there's so one. So a church I think organ is a pipe organ. Yes, oh, so but they, yeah. they do have digital ones too. Okay, they have and again, that, 
uh, equates basically back to like a woodwind. Is correctly. that what they used in the? Uh, in could the be woodwind. Like it's it's weird because like they you know, they I'm play through sure. reeds, but there are a lot of pipe organs that use like metal tubes. One at a time. One at a time, people. It could be wooden to it can be wooden pipes, it could be steel pipes. It um So but, it's, but a, they play it's a percussive reeds. hit causing said sound, or it could be through reeds, yes? Uh yeah, it's like weird. Like it's I, I mean I guess because like they say a lot of keyboards are percussive instruments, but it's using wind, so I don't know if that can like conflicts with that. It's it's weird. But I think it, it was um I forgot which, it was either a Macy's or a Sears, but there's one major uh, store chain that they have a, it's, it's one of their biggest stores with like six or seven flights of like, like levels, and they have the biggest church organ in the world. I think it has, uh, let me make sure really quick. What consequence, uh, what actually like quantifies a church organ? Is it just a pipe organ, but like super fancy? Uh, it's a pipe organ that has multiple manuals of keys, so different uh, sets of keys that you could adjust the sound on each one. They typically have a two and a half octaves or two octaves of bass keys. So you're not just playing with two hands, you're playing with your feet as well. Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. same form. But it's, is, like, it's more is like that, just... Is that what uh, Inagata De Vita was used? No, that, that was a Vox. That. that was a Vox organ. That was a transistor-based combo organ. And I couldn't hear that question because somebody was fucking talking! Me? No. Oh. No, Maybe. so Inagata De Vita, those are combo organs. So those came out in the 60s around, and they were meant to compete with the Hammonds because the Hammonds were bulky, like, big motherfuckers and tone wheel generated. They came out with a combo organ to try and compete with them because they were smaller relatively. They're still, like, you know, some of them are 80 pounds, 90 pounds, 120 pounds. Is that what you're going to try and bring in? I was almost going to bring mine in, yeah. I have a Yamaha one that this was made crazy. in, like, 1971. And they're, like, they're, for the time, they were a lot lighter. Like, because carrying a B3, you need, like, a truck to, Can like... I see your car outside? It's not going to fit that thing. No, yeah, it would, it, it would not. One? Yeah, out there, I see it. <laughs> nah. But see, a church... your car outside? It's not going to fit that thing. This man plays uh, piano while he's driving. It's scary. See. Oh, yeah, you no. see, yeah. Why are you diving him out? <laughs> what just, are you, a fucking narc? I'm just kidding. Snitches <laughs> get stitches. Yeah, true. Quick, somebody stab him. Oh shit! Thirty-seven times. Like, here's an example of one of the Damn, biggest. that's a lot. If I that's make it through that, that's no, that's impressive. like one of the biggest we'll pipe organs in the too. world. Damn, they're coming off. Yeah, Atlantic City, but one, two, three, four, five, six manuals of keys. That's what it's referred to as a manual. A key? manual is yeah. like a row of keys. Yeah. Gotcha. So if there's no, six no, rows of keys, you have like Emmanuel. six. Like, and yeah. then you have all the keys on the bottom, and these are all the stops to mix those harmonics in. Like what I was saying before, like you know, the mixing color. We pull out things. Yeah, mm -hmm. so all these are stops, and they all control separate manuals, and these, the ones of these size are millions of dollars. Well, yeah, I mean, they're like ungodly fucking expensive. And, yeah, like so that's why like a lot of places that have these, it's like they're like major, major, pla like hotels, Macy's, like stuff like that. Well, not a lot of Macy's, churches. but it's the one Macy's, yeah. Yeah, churches too, like. I thought that God just gave church to everything. We, God yeah, does it, it, he it. does. He does. Or he does. they do, whatever. Uh, we were at... Shout out to our spiritual episode? Question yeah, mark? there you go. Hey, there you go. That was a fucking episode. That sure was an episode. We went somewhere, me and Paul. Uh, I don't remember how long ago it was now. Definitely like five years. the best story. Yeah, I know, right? Sometime in the past. But it was a church. Sometime in the past, somewhere. In yeah, the past. somewhere. No, there was, there was a church that was... Unattended and open, they left it open for like the doors were wide open. And, there and what was it a, sounds like is you stole their organ. No, we didn't steal anything, but Paul played an organ. What, a uh, church organ? Yeah, that was that Paul, was really cool. Paul was oh, a lot yeah, about opening invitation, an organ. open invitation, pretty much. Yeah, I was working. Uh, I had some work in a church, and the lady was like, "You play like organ?" Because I was playing on a little one in a uh, chapel hall. I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "You want to play the real one?" I was yeah. like, "Yes, please." So. And that's a cool experience. All right, but this one's in, it's like Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. It's not Macy's. This is a different one. There's a certain, uh... This is still a big one, though. It's huge, yeah. That's yeah. The one, the one that you just showed me. Yeah, six it's, manuals of keys, look, seven. It's look a it up, gigantic people. gigantic organ. Yeah. Yes, no, it yeah. is bigger than the world's biggest... And to fit, yeah, no, and to, true. To, to fit all the pipes for that, because every, every tone is getting its own pipe. Not even just every key, every tone that you can pull out... Has its own pipes, so that's a that's a late chase to your uh, grain alcohol. Oh, I don't need to chase it every time. Just once in a while. Yeah, this Fair guy. Enough. It's like a game changer. 
Yeah. That's pretty good, Don. You <laughs> deprive if yourself. If you can handle it that well, I'm surprised. Yeah. He's a little red. He's there. a little professional. I'm a functioning alcoholic. Paul deprives himself <laughs> of. He's functioning something or another. Oh yes, he is. <laughs> you deprive yourself of chasers for an hour so that when you come back to it, it tastes that much better. Exactly. Check out our psychedelics episode. You'll find out a little bit more about Paulie. <laughs> yeah. And Man, the it's DMT been straight elves. edge. Yeah, or the DMT elves. And Paul is straight the edge DMT for elves. his entire life. I'm, yeah, I never touched alcohol. No, I never touched anything. My liver is so strong, it just like destroy, it like decombusts alcohol the minute it gets That's there. just melted butter in that cup. We just wanted it to look like alcohol for a shot. Gotcha. So it's yeah. brown buttered. Yeah, it's brown butter. Interesting. Melted at a certain temperature to where Paul can drink it. So that whole shout out to the not sponsored Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, that was all a lie. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. That was a, yeah. That was a ruse. You've been gaslit. You've been gaslit. Oh, my God. He actually only brought that bottle. I feel like Paul right now. Being gaslit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, like so. Um, yeah, the, the the one that was played for Inagata Devita. There's <laughs> there's the crane alcohol. Those are those those are combo organs, and those, and same thing with like synthesizers. It's like those are pretty much all the sound is coming out of like electrical circuitry, that's being. Typically, there's like there's um, rows of. It's it's kind of hard to explain, but. It's, um, so explain it's, it. It's it's yep. to a two year old. It's generating the sound <laughs> through like electrical components, like vacuum tubes or well transistors is for transistor organs. But um, if you sparky op- sparky if, makes if you, soundy soundy. If you yeah, open exactly. one up, yeah. If you open one up, like example of Vox, a Vox continental organ, which was used in Inagata De Vita, uh, Raymond Zarek of the Doors used it in all of their early work. Um, you open that up, it'll have twelve circuit boards just sitting right on top. Each circuit board controls a note. So you have A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, etc. It controls, there are 12 for every note in an octave, which is uh, the set of 12 notes, the only 12 notes that like exist aside from microtonal stuff, which he could get yeah. into. Um, what the fuck is microtonal stuff? Uh, essentially, it's the frequencies in between the notes. So you have a note that's like, uh, uh, but then in the middle of it, uh, it's like a little bit of like not exactly on the note, but it's in between it. So if you get into like, well, a, so it's uh, hold on, hold on. Stuff. So if we have a one and a two, it's like a one and a half. Yes. Yeah, essentially, okay. Okay. Every, and everything in between. Twelve tone. There's twenty four tet. There's forty eight tones. So they spread it apart through different tones. So basically, instead of like, it's almost like you sound can get like one on a spectrum. Yeah, exactly. So it's like if you. If you take like, <laughs> well, think about it this way, honestly, because we brought this. You're up. on a spectrum. Uh, every, everything exists on a spectrum. No, if we go back to what you were saying earlier about the theremin. So if you move your hand a certain way, sometimes you don't get the exact notes. You know what I mean? Like it's a frequency off or whatever, and that could usually be utilized in some sort of microtonal scale. Uh, there's also something called. So now how does this play into a hurdy gurdy? Hurdy gurdies typically are just when does drone the based on. Sta- what songs what of life? tuning is that exactly? I know it's a more. Uh, when does a herd gird? I think I don't know what exactly what gird. tuning, but I, yeah, I don't know the exact. When notes, the bird is the word, that's when the herd gird. Yeah. It's typically like a first and a fifth when of the herd scale. Gird. I believe are the droning notes, and then goody, 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 it's goody, 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 something like that. <laughs> but um, it, it, like a hurdy gurdy could be microtonal if it's like tuned just like. It, a lot like you could make a microtonal just if you tune With it like tuning, really, yeah yeah like it's like it's like you're almost like you're trying to find notes that aren't really distinguishable to the ear. Now people have modified uh, pianos because uh, we were talking about that pianos and all that stuff. People have modified it to be in uh, different microt- microtonal tunings. Like there's a composer named Lamont Young, and he did something called the well-tuned piano. So basically, if you put two frequencies together, two notes together. Uh, sometimes if you hear it a certain way and it's it's certain frequencies there it'll create a third wave in between them you can get this sound by like tuning a guitar and hearing the different frequencies line up certain ways but the tuning system was created so that it doesn't create any of those waves and it's just perfect frequencies uh, you can bring that into piano you can bring that into synthesizer uh, tuning really definitely opens up your horizons as far as different sounds and capabilities go. If you got an organ, that's what I was telling you, like the vo- I was watching a video on the Vox, the way you tune it is literally you take a it's flat It's like an Allen key, right? Or yeah. yeah. You just screw, so, like you can, you can tune a Vox Continental by going on the circuit board and tightening it or loosening it, and you could literally find 
every mm-hmm. note, everything in between, you know, what two notes are known as today. Like you have yeah. a C and a C I'm sharp. I'm surprised you can I, tighten your. I organ. do have a question yeah. for you. Yeah. All right. There you go. I do have a question for you guys. Yeah. There's a guy that I was uh, doom scrolling and found some of his shit. Uh, Matthias Krantz on YouTube. Not a sponsor. Just yeah, yeah, not a dude that I found. Seems like he's got some cool shit. He like. Does all sorts of weird shit on pianos. Have you guys checked him out before? I, like he's I replaced the strings so. with like horsehair. He's replaced oh, the so like a prepared piano. Yes, right? I know who you're talking about. No, I he's replaced like the, the normal like Wait, uh, uh, percussive mallets with it's, actual hammers, things like that. So basically, <laughs> Wait, it's have not. Have you seen the guy who plays the guitar, but he uh, amps it through different like. Uh, various things like Jello, potatoes, and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that funny cool too. too. I haven't seen that. But uh, basically, so the the guy that you were talking about, he, I believe it's the same one who did a piano where he modified the piano to be able to retain a certain amount of water within it, which would create a more chorus-like effect. It was actually pretty interesting until it started getting like annoying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but basically. Yes. It's not a prepared piano or like Paul X. The prepared piano is more in the way of like we take this piano, we put pieces of metal or whatever in between the strings so that instead of just sounding like you're hitting a note, you can get these more percussive and uh, metallic elements to it. But what you were saying is more just like straight up modification of the yeah, yeah, instrument yeah, yeah. itself. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Yeah. But I just was wondering if no, you guys it's pretty cool. seen him. Yeah, it took me a second to rack my brain, but yeah. So, no, that's cool stuff. Do you remember that guy that made, like, a synthesizer out of, like, 72 Furbies? Yeah, that's yes. what it was. <laughs> Look yes, mom. I've seen that. Yeah, that's a wild <laughs> His shit. name is, uh, we're not affiliated, just saying that. But yeah, his, not friends. His name is... Just cool, dude. Come yeah. be friends with us. We need True. more friends. His name is Look Mum No Computer, and he's a British guy. He actually, uh, has... Never mind. <laughs> no, he's really talented. <laughs> He has uh he I has I don't a recognize s- the British people. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> he has a keyboard where it's actually he has a couple of different things. There's a Furby organ, there's a keyboard that if you press a certain button on it, it shoots a flamethrower out the side of it. He also has a uh, one that is ha- like a bicycle that's modified that when you drive it, it creates a volta- like the voltage going through the voltage controlled oscillators and it makes it basically a synthesizer at the same time that you're riding the bike so it'll create like mm-hmm. different what? music from the bike itself like the wheels will create Here, it's I thought crazy. the craziest thing I've seen in bike modification was there's so much you could do with those nah he has <laughs> like <Never mind. laughs> three synthesizer bikes it's crazy there's a lot you could do with like Although, synthesizers like, like keyboards like, and a lot of it is just like electrical yeah like, that's the thing there's impact. a lot of electrical um Manipulation, modification. Oh, you know what they should stuff. do? They do a whole synthesizer with those Otomi things. Automaton, they've done that. I forget who did that, but I've seen that. Oh, you have an Automaton too. Yeah, right? I have to those get it hooked up again. Those things are neat as shit. You should have brought that. That would have been fun. I know. I got to get it hooked up again. That's I think a I'm, synthesizer. You're talking about those right? things. You know, those things with the yeah. ball where you play up and down a little thing. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah, running yeah, along yeah. like a strip and creating like. So that would technically be microtonal because there's notes in between the notes there too. Yeah, it's like a glide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of like dun 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 dun, you're just gliding through through everything in between. They're like thirty bucks. I don't. So now, how does this actually relevant to keyboards and synthesizers? Because it's technically a a type of. I I would consider it similar to a type of synthesizer. It's a synthesized sound. There's a lot of different. Yeah, there you go. There's a lot of different types of synthesizers. There's those ones with those strips. There's ones that are more based off of electroacoustic Based. output. Yeah, there Based. you go. So, so sorry. No, it's go all ahead. good. Ask your question. Ask you haven't your, spoken yeah, much yeah, today. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious. But, uh, didn't like Pink Floyd have to make their own special synthesizer for On the Run or some shit? I know that's uh, basically an arpeggiator, but I don't know. Like being I run th- through I a synthesizer. I think it was like Pink Floyd basically had to make like a, their own special uh, instrument. They like might on have. On the run for Dark Side of the Mood. They might have, but they also might have just been working, like working with somebody who was creating that. Like, I, I yeah, don't know exactly how lines. that. Like, that was very experimental at the time. The yeah, people, like, no, it definitely was. That's early synthesizer stuff for sure. They were big on like using keyboards, like like the the early yeah, yeah, yeah. So early Floyd. A, they used a Farfisa, which is a combo organ. So the Oh. Like electrical cheesy sounding ones, but he used it was I think it was an Echo Rec. Pink Floyd is very. If you listen to music in the sixties and seventies, yes, true. Chances are you might have heard. Oh, of you get it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's some, there's a bunch of them nowadays too, but nowadays it's a lot of stuff that's done through computer synthesizers. So VSTs, like we were talking about, I like it because 
you can get a lot of creativity and control out of it, but there are a lot of... Is it all emulated? It's emulated, but there's also stuff... Fucking pirates. <laughs> yeah, right? No, there's also stuff like something, a program that I use called Max MSP, which is technically a visual programming language. Uh, and I code it with different patches and stuff like that that create and generate sound. And you could emulate modular synthesis in there. So it's like you're coding and programming the sound itself. And yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, but it makes really cool effects. I don't buy it. You don't buy it. You don't buy it. Nope. I bought it. I pay for it. Oh, okay. So then not yeah. sponsored. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, cool no, people. Not sponsored. Music stuff's weirdly expensive. If you want to plug well, it, what? Yeah. Even the computer shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, Adobe. Adobe, yeah, I pay for it. Adobe's expensive. The, I don't yep. know what the fuck. It's like, I think Not sponsored. They're just what I use. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, don't know, I think it's like my, my ex-wife's new husband. He's like, yeah, it's like 60 bucks a month or some shit is. for his D, for his DJ. Because uh, uh, he does DJ. Yeah. His DJ they, stack? What do they use Whatever that? program is that he like uses. Record, is that like recording software? Or? You're the musical people. I don't DJ. You I said don't know. Know. You, so. he, he has a whole special laptop setup thing oh, for Oh, he's got it, a too. special something. Yeah. <laughs> he's a fucking special guy. Good guy. <laughs> so basically he's it depends. He's a special guy. Good guy. He's, he's a fun feller. He's a fun, funny guy. He's probably watching this one. <laughs> nice. He doesn't... He, I don't know. <laughs> There's a. Uh, You're right. He's probably listening. Maybe. Stuck in the middle. Of it. <laughs> it's, hey, it's, the, it's the classic, you know, ah. ex-wife's new husband joke. Yeah, yep. yeah. What's going on with this guy right here? Oh, he's an ex-wife new husband. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. He's, he's just the ex-wife. Uh, yeah. That's no, no. True. He's he's the. Uh, he's his own ex-wife. He's the weirdo the, guy the, the ex-wife cheated on you with. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Cuckoo, kachu. Cuckoo, kachu. He's, the, he's the brother of the guy that the, uh, the ex-wife cheated on you with. He watched while it was happening. What was his baseball? He was in the cuck chair. Yeah, he was, he was in the cuck chair. Every, Every hotel Never has the cuck chair. What was his baseball joke? Yeah, true. I'm your I've mother's brother's son's second niece's was, wife's. I'm your mother's father's roommate's best friend's like room spring. Of course you remember. <laughs> I don't which fucking makes, know. Which makes us nothing, which is exactly what you will be soon. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. That's what you are. You're the cuck chair. <laughs> Selective breed. You're not even on the cuck chair. You are the cuck chair. Yeah, true. <laughs> so Ningen sit. Isu. Take a seat. Jackson, yeah. get, Jackson gets that. What? I said Ningen Isu. Human chair. The the band. That's what that... Ed Gein. You know, Nick and Isu, Heartless yeah. Scat, the band, the song. Come on, you know them. Ipu. No, it's Isu. It's Ipu. Ningen Ipu? Yeah. Could have sworn it's Isu. Nope. Damn. But no, the the meaning of the the meaning of their name is human chair. It's based off an old Japanese horse. Nope. That's sick. Yes it is, I looked it up. Nope. They're just being a dick. Run. Whatever. He's the My he's hands the human huge. chair. That's sick though. Yeah. Okay. If you want to really look up, look up uh, Ningen Ipu. They're a uh, heartless cat. Great song, but they're also re three really distinct looking guys. Nice. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> One guy looks like like you can tell where they drew their influence from. Like Fair. oh yeah yeah yeah. That's one hundred percent Metallica. That's uh, Iron Maiden. That's like like yeah, individual yeah, yeah. one. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. But no, no, the, the guys themselves. Like one guy kind of looks like an old samurai. Nice. The other guy looks like uh, Uncle Fester became a Buddhist monk. Wow, that's good. And one. then one of them is like Japanese Elvis. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's, <laughs> They're all that's crazy. Yeah, some crazy. Yeah, it's a good dynamic. Yeah, check them out again. Not sponsored. They're not telling us to do this. They're just cool people. Yeah, true. Yeah, J these, J these, these guys should be sponsoring you. James is yeah. fucking wild. Some, you give them some shout outs. You got a good. Yeah. You gotta get some money from these guys. Get in contact. No. Mm. Nah. no Those guys? No. no. We'll do them for free. Nice. There you go. <laughs> Not bad. Get Adobe to sponsor you. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. And those guys have to pay. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. What would your ideal first sponsor be? Uh, we're not talking about sponsors right now. We're talking about keyboards. I mean, you have one on the on the. We're on not the talking line. about sponsors right now. We're talking about keyboards. No. Okay. Just, what's a good? What's that? Oh, Rage Shadow Legends. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, Rage Shadow Legends. Fair. All right. Uh, do, they, do they still exist? Yes. They're still very much so. Yep. Yeah. They I mean, were. That said, I uh, I am looking into getting shirts for us. 
with a new logo for us. Oh, nice. you're talking about that logo, yeah. 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 That's yeah. awesome. Yep. It's so a good cool. idea. Uh, if you're interested in some shirts when they come out, but, uh, I'll promo them. Yeah, yeah Count, definitely. Count Dankula still gets sponsored by them. <laughs> I know, Fair, yeah. it's your boy, Red Shadow Shadow Legends. Legends. There's a couple of different people that <laughs> Not do. sponsored. Not sponsored. Not sponsored yeah. by Raid or Count Dankula. Hello, shout out to Count. Keyboards. Come be a Keyboards, our so show. basically. Synthesizers. All right, we're back. Hey. Hey, hey, what's going hey. on? My bladder is empty and my liver is dying. Hey, look at how he's refilling his bladder again, though. <laughs> this guy That's needs... his chaser. Again, remember. Uh, he's got three drinks on him right now. This guy, no wonder he needs to go to the bathroom every 20 seconds. Don't forget. Uh, this is actually uh, a very subtle beer. bong that you like, you can't see it because I'm lighting it because I invented it, but I'm lighting I'm it with my thumb back. <laughs> the people, I don't care. The people in the audience really care about this. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, they don't. <laughs> I, I know, like, I'm yeah. kidding, I'm kidding. All right, so where do we? Time? We were talking about pianos and shit like that. Synthesizers, sponsors, unfortunately, not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, not sponsored. not sponsored. Nothing is sponsored. Yeah. We can, are not legally. We are not allowed to say that anything is sponsoring us. No, no, I'm not saying it's sponsoring yeah. us. I'm saying the opposite of that. We were talking about not sponsors. Yeah, well, not sponsors. Yeah. yeah, just cool people. And rich, I don't know, which is not. Yeah, and them. Unless it's, it's your boy. Yeah, unless they want to, you know, then maybe they'll be a little cool. Then they could one. be cool people. Yeah. Then we could not sponsor that, not sponsor into a sponsor. If yeah. They're, if they're willing to upgrade my phone so I can play the game, fuck it. All right. Yeah, nice. sure, give us a sponsorship. <laughs> nope. Let them give you a new phone and you're good. Why? You need like a good, like, you need like a good phone to play that? My phone is just Look, all I'm going to say is... No, you need a good synthesizer to play it. There yeah. we there go. We're are. bringing it back to synthesizers. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you. Now yeah. get back to that mic. Okay, so... Back what I was talking about, the last thing that I was talking about was the whole microtonal thing, but I think I'll go into more uh, something that is interesting about the synthesizers is that the early ones, a lot of them were monophonic, which means that you can only basically get sound. Uh, what we were talking about. Two the, year old. Yeah. No, no. This is going to make sense, I think. You can only get it out of one speaker as compared No, to you can key. only get it out of one key at a time. Uh, so uh, you can't press, like, mm. multiple keys at a time and get what he was talking about earlier. With the harmonies? Yeah. You yeah. Could only, but you In can harmony. do that if you record it and play it over each other. If you can record um, it and play it over each other. The minute, you, like press another guy. Key, the minute yeah. you press another key, it cuts off whatever other key. Like, So you have your hand on one key. You press another one. Now that key has precedence over what you were originally playing. But you so can, it cuts off the other sound. But you can set it up to where it glides instead. So basically, instead of going, uh, it'll be like, it'll like uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you can do okay, that short okay. distance, long distance. You yeah. can play like. So what does Mark Rebolet play? So he plays oh, actually oh, samplers for the most part. I actually saw him live. It was pretty interesting. You saw not, him live? Not sponsored. Yeah. Uh, it, he just showed up at a concert I was at and did some stuff. But yeah, neat. it was cool. He uh, so basically what he has is samplers and live looping. So basically, if I press this button here, uh, so it has nothing to do with like synthesizers or it kind of does. It kind of does because he's also got what you would call a MIDI controller, which means emulated sounds through a computer, not illegally emulated. You know, <laughs> so you plug oh, it so in. So you can get like each key is a different <laughs> small sample snippet. You can well, you can it. do that. But what I'm saying is, let's say I hook it up to what the computer. What is a MIDI? So basically, for it those. Would, yeah, no, no, I'm going to explain it's that. It's decent quality weed, but not great. No, <laughs> so basically what <laughs> no, it is. No, that's just mid. Mid. AKA Max. <laughs> yeah. No, so what we basically. Don't or Brian. Don't. Wow. <laughs> hey, I'm calling back to the bleach episode. <laughs> wait, I'm wait, using wait, his words, we don't, we not don't, mine. We don't name drop the kid. That's rude. He's a kid. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, MIDI. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> mid, yeah, MIDI and not mid is what you would do is you have the computer, you have the emulated sound. So basically, on my computer, I have a piano. Let's say uh, if I plug. Okay, so the, let's say this. Yeah. So you plug the keyboard into that. The keyboard on itself is going to create no sound. If I plug the keyboard into it, it's almost like how you plug a mouse into a computer at first. If you don't have it plugged in, it's not going to do anything. But it controls what's coming out of the computer, what is happening on the computer. And you Okay, so each keystroke on said piano would input one command on said computer. It would computer. create, like, a different pitch. So, like, it would be, like, a layout of, you know, almost like a keyboard, like a regular keyboard, but you only get the sound once you plug it into a computer and have it set up to play a certain instrument. 
Now, you can do it with samplers to where I'll press this and it'll be like a piano and then and this one I'll set it up and it'll be like a trumpet or something and mix those together. Trumpet. But, now let's hear the trumpet. Yeah, now let's hear the trumpet. But a little no, bit of Monica. In my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this sounds very convoluted. Yeah, Yes, no. but that exact part with us doing it so poorly, we're probably fine. Yeah, it's pretty that good. No, so basically... We're, we're transformative. Yeah, fair use. Fair use. Fair use, yeah. What we mark said two words. Yeah, true, you're good. We're, we're hitting all the weird YouTube kind of, uh... That was actually you know, just... Play jokes here. It's rumored that if you just say the words, let it be, then six million dollars immediately comes, say out, it. Of, comes <laughs> out of your bank account. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> nah, but basically... Look, just let it grow, it's fine. That's yeah. too close, five million dollars right now. <laughs> no, that was a different thing! That was a different thing! <laughs> Paul is putting five million dollars on the line right now, so if anybody wants to charge him, he's got it right in his bank well, right uh, now. <laughs> Um, when I was a young boy. <laughs> yeah, true. That's that's the best. Uh, the best. The Snoop best. Dog. The best. That Snoop was <laughs> that was Snoop Dogg. Uh, yeah, that's Snoop, Snoop Dogg. Dog. California love. Sorry, Snoop Lion. Yeah, whatever no, happened he with changed that? It back. No, no, no. This was when he was lion. Man just smoked too much weed and was like, "I'm gonna be a lion now." And then he came back around. He was you like, know, we you know why oh. he said he wouldn't want to do it because the hats were too itchy. He's Jesus. actually a crazy human being. <laughs> he's, he's, mini controllers. Mark yes, Revelle, so mini controllers. Mini controller, like I was saying, you create, you have a computer, it plays the sounds on a computer like a regular keyboard. You're a Mark, yep. Mark Ribia, or, uh, ha, uh, Anthony Fantano with hair. Essentially. <laughs> has, um. And thinner. Yeah. He has one of those. Love so you, buddy. You could play. You can play those keyboard sounds through there, but then what he has is his main thing is a live looper, which is hooked up to a microphone. So basically, like, let's say I went like this. If I press the button on here and I went, and I press it, it'll be like, like it'll just keep going. Just on a loop, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it'll keep going. So where I'm aware of how loop works. No, I know. I don't know if everybody oh, out there is, though. So. They might loop not. Happens. That's why I'm loop. saying it. Uh, so basically, if you set it up that way, he's got a couple of different loops going at once. You can create like a live jam type thing. That's what he does for the most part. Uh, it's synthesized sounds for the most part, so it's not necessarily too far from it, but it's more digital and computer based. Based. Okay. Based. Yeah. Based. So how do we get back to Mark Ribolet? No, because I was saying that's what he uses for the most part. But he, how do we get to him again? How do we get to him? Yeah. I think uh, he lives in the city, contact right? information. No, no, no. Not how do we actually access him. What I mean is, how did we get to him from what we were yeah, talking well, about? You, you, brought up? Up. you brought him up. Yeah, yeah. But you were talking about something where it was, you weren't able to play. Uh, monophonic mo versus po uh, polyphonic. So monophonic go. is the one note at a time. Polyphonic is multiple. Because you could loop that. The, the yeah, you could loop either of them, actually. I mean, as long as you have it plugged in. You, you could really loop either of them, and it'll. But if you do that, like you know, if I loop, uh, bop, bop, bop. Like, yeah, bop, bop, bop. and bop, bop, they loop bop, bop, bop. it in a different pitch, then it's essentially it's still monophonic, but it's creating chords. You know what I mean? Like you can create the chords that way by looping a different pitch over another pitch. Okay. So it's an interesting way to go about doing it. In, in the mm. '60s, when synthesizers and stuff like that were first coming to prominence. Uh, a lot of people would do it with different uh, tape recording systems, so reel to reel, uh, and you'd record it on tape, and even sometimes manipulate the tape for it to go faster, which would create the higher pitch, and then they record those on top of each other. It'd be like a rudimentary way of doing overdubs. And they did do that with the um, so the Beatles song in my life with the piano solo in the middle. He actually played that slower, and they sped the tape up to get it. In yeah, sure. Key with Paul, the rest of the song. Sure, Paul. Mentioning how uh, we get sued by the Beatles in one second. Continue. No, we go, we're not Defin it. Definitely continue talking about that. No, they have YouTube videos talking about that one. <laughs> I know. Okay. They speed it up, but the like, the like the the way it sped up, it increased the pitch, so it would match yeah. the rest of the song. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's cool. Why would they do that though? Is there so, like a yeah, documented reason as to why? Why um, it harmonizes better with the rest of the song? Yeah, sometimes it can But just, why play slower to speed up is what I mean. Some people why might not be able to actually... I've, I've heard varying things. I heard a teacher in Nassau Community College say that the, so, the solo itself was too yeah, fast. True. So he played it slower. So that when you speed it up, it'll he, be at that pitch and, and same speed too. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I talked over no, you. No, it's true. No, you got, you got it right. So... It might have been slightly easier to manipulate the pitch 
to where it needed to be sped up than if you had to try and play it faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it would have... Speeding it up is a different... Speeding it up digitally changes the pitch slightly differently than how it would have been and then how it would have been if you played it just fast in general, I think is what he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah. essentially, yeah. So now there's, there's a weird difference... In, in versus how playing it fast physically versus playing it fast. Well, yeah, it gets yeah, a little bit different of a sound. Up, yeah. uh, what I like doing is is kind of like having each of them on top of each other, so you get different varying uh, lengths of loops and different va uh, varying speeds, and it'll create it, both of them going at the same time. And that's how you get something that's if you do it with like uh, drum, uh, like electronic drums on a computer or something like that, you can create something that's almost polyrhythmic in its sense if you speed it up by a certain way, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I, essentially, which I, means that there's two rhythms going on at once. So, like, you could have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and then you have somebody else doing four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. He's doing one, two, sorry, four. Yeah, I'm just trying to show you. It, it messes with the audio. Oh, sorry. It's like time signatures. So you you're playing one. two different time signatures, and they don't exactly line up together. But it's like when you have your blinker on, and the guy in front <laughs> of you's blinker goes a little bit faster. Yeah, it comes but in it's and out still, of sync. Yeah, it syncs up sometimes, but then it'll be like totally out of sync. But it syncs up again naturally. Yeah, it's cool. Like when your eyes slightly sync the rotation of a tire, and it looks like it's going normal. That's yeah. similar to, yeah, kind of. Or that even weirder phenomenon or how it looks like it starts going backwards instead that's of forwards. Cool. Or like the that, other yeah. other phenomenon, how all metronomes eventually equal. Yeah, that's cool, too. Yeah. That's true. It's, it, the way it I, survives. I do have a question for you. Me or Paul? Y yes. Okay. <laughs> um, Me or Paul? Yes. Okay. <laughs> how did you two get into music, and how long have you been into music and doing this type of nonsense? Forever, can, right? Yeah, you can answer. Forever's not an want. answer. Well, uh, Quantify it. I'll, I'll explain after. I started on percussion when You'll I was... You'll explain how he got into music no, after? No, I'll explain my, my own side of it from how my I got into My own things. side of it. My own side of things. Your well, I started drumming when I was five. Uh, I was I'm sorry for your life. What? I said I'm sorry. No, drumming. <laughs> no, drumming I kind of wish I started something else because it would be easier to sight read uh, actual music as opposed to drum music. Yes, but everybody knows that drummers don't actually read music. They do, yeah, but it's like you're reading one note. You're mo like not all of them. The good do. thing about drumming is you're you get good at rhythm, so you get can good. keep a beat good. But hey, he's oh, he's yeah. messing up the audio again. What it sounds like is get good. Song. Your microphone's no, too good. It's gonna okay. pick up everything. Should we just kick so, him out at this point? Yeah, let's just. No, goodbye, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. See, no, I but like yeah, the, I started I like on drums. Um, yes, in middle school. Get some really sick shit going. Yes, uh, you can. I had a. There was a keyboard in the band room, and I would just mess around on that, and I just like gradually got into it. I remember the actually one of the first songs I was learning on my own was Box Organ Fugue in G Minor because my dad really liked it, and I thought it sounded sick. So I was like getting what the hang of it? playing that. It was Box Organ Fugue in G Minor. Why does that one sound familiar? It's a it's a nice song, but yeah, I started just We're not messing sponsored. around. Not sponsored by Bach. Jesus. <laughs> Wait, is that the da -na -na, da -na -na. no? That's D minor. That's Sakata in D. Or, uh, but, it's um, fine. We don't need to know it. Yeah. Anyway, look it up yourself. So, um, it's music. Yeah. It pretty much started in middle school. On uh, late middle school, I started actually I mean, I trying to figure out whatever. how to seriously play guitar and keyboard, and then at one point mid to late around late high school I just started focusing all my energy on like keyboard organ piano and that got me here E2 Brute uh, so basically I also started with percussion at a very young age but I, I honestly like when I was really young like I have pictures of me from like toddler age where I was playing on like Things that weren't actually drum kits, like little pots and pans and stuff. And eventually I got into playing drums, uh, like five or six. I went back and forth to a certain drum center that I would take lessons at and do some shows like that. Uh, I eventually switched over to guitar when I was 12, and I took lessons for that. I also just got very used to playing that like on my own so I learned different things from that that I didn't necessarily learn from lessons that was cool and when I was in sixth grade I want to say I kind of decided that I wanted to make my own music or at least my own rough attempts at that point at music and I couldn't just play guitar and let it just be guitar and drums so I got into playing 
going back to the MIDI thing, I got into playing computer electronics, st uh, like stuff like that, synthesized stuff through there. I got really into a, uh, a group, a, sp a group called Boards of Canada when I was in eighth or seventh grade, and that took me more down the analog synthesizer path. Um, since then, I've just been doing a lot more like computer stuff, like uh, visual programming, which I use to create different coded sounds. Like I said, uh, certain things like that, where it's just kind of I like a lot of drone stuff now. Kind of eventually, when I got into synthesizers, started going back and back as far as history goes, like learning the different history of the instrument, getting into people like I mentioned a couple of times, Lamont Young, Terry Riley, uh, that certain group. Stuff like that really interests me, and even like old, old like specific records that were made specifically for libraries and stuff like that, which would incorporate early synthesizer sounds and sure. kind of show it as like more of a showcasing rather than actually just the music itself. So, so, be, so did I hear you correct in saying Boards of Canada? Yeah, Boards of You're Canada. You're Canadian. No, I'm not Canadian, but the they're... Fuck my and neither are they, right? right? No, they're not. I don't believe they're Canadian either. I think they're Scottish, but they're based off of... Based off based. of a... Uh, well, their their name is... Has roots in something called National Film Board of Canada, which is basically a, a different type of um, National Geographic type thing. So it has a lot of music so that comes... So Boards of Canada is based off of National Geographic. Based. No, well... The more European and Canadian version of it, which is called uh, National Film Board of Canada, which is very similar. And what about you? You got any uh, musical stuff down there? Oh no, I not play. I'm not good at them. I've got what they call stupid hands. Well, what about as so far? So what as you're saying is, is that the devil's hands are idle playthings? <laughs> yes. The reference to Futurama. Fantastic future. That was a great episode. Reference? Yes, it was. Reference to the reference counter. Reference to the reference. That, was, that episode ah. had feels in it. Oh my that god, did it have feels? It. Every episode. Only the thing worse was the dog one, where his dog uh, got thrown along. I don't know about the only thing worse. The no, there was the only there, feels episode. No, 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 worse no, no, no. There was a one in a later season after that, uh, with the mother, where he actually goes to visit the mother in her dream, and just hang out with her and sit with her. What episode well, was that? Was that like when they came it's back? It's all right, Fry. Like I'm here. You can sit with me. You can talk. How recent was that? Because I know they kept getting canceled. That was uh, during the Comedy Central era. Yep. And then the new one just had the one with the. Uh, that was a that was a big feels one though. I thought you were gonna say the one where he fucked his own grandmother and burned no. his father. How was that? How was that feels? That's what I was like. I got emotional. I was like, what the fuck? Holy, what type of feels are you into? They still reference that in continuity. They still reference nice. that in continuity with the new season. Paul gets a little ticked off grandfather. every time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, but uh, <laughs> no, no that's why I was confused. I was like, "What do you mean? That's a they feels had a new episode. feelsy episode in this season already." Yeah, nice. that sounds about right. I, what was did they? All right, do you remember the finale where like nope. him, him and Leela like they lived off like and went like old together? Yeah, the last one uh, was that like the last, or did they come back? In it was, no, there's another one now. Yeah, they just restart. Okay, yeah. They just rebooted nice. it. Yeah, for, for after like another four years off or something like that. Yeah, like they are like it's longer than that. Schizophrenic with it's schizophrenic. It's been a long because time. Because Comedy Central actually did it poetically perfect, where the end credits for the uh, the finale, they didn't do a commercial break between it, and they just re did the first episode, so it's supposed to loop, because there's a. Uh, what do you, uh, what do you say, Leela? You want to go around again? And it just loops back into... Nice, I yeah. like that. Because I think there was a bit of That's cut cool. dialogue in the original Comedy Central version where he says they'll go back to before he had the idea for the invention, which was just before Fry got unfrozen. Yep. So it would have completely reboot the whole series. Yep. That was, like, the best show. Like, better than any of those other anime. Like, Family Guy, American Dad. That is Futurama. Hey, 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 hey. Was, call back to our uh, Family Guy counter. Futurama was a, reference, like, reference. A tier, S tier. I don't know. Old yeah. South Park was pretty good, too, though. Old South Park was really good. Modern South Park is still pretty good. It's you're... it's definitely the best of the I bunch, will, I will put in... I, uh, say. I, I will uh, say that they definitely have, like, a much harder job because it was just the two of them yeah. for the longest time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They still do like one week to air. I don't know if yeah, they're doing it. But it's yeah. still mostly them behind yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They're still doing it, it like that current. Like, yeah, honestly, you know what's uh, gotten kind of stronger and still is hold up? Uh, fucking American Dad. Yeah. Looney Tunes? Still going? 
Yeah, yeah no, it is. They got, they're on uh, they're on TBS now because Fox canceled them, but immediately T, uh, TBS, whatever the fuck they are, they picked them up and were like, we want you guys. So I feel like episodes to them. Damn, yeah. I feel like they, they ended, had uh, the original run ended where Jeff got abducted. Yeah, yeah, Which that's what Fox. Uh, Jeff um, is Haley's husband. boyfriend. Yeah, Her husband. Yeah. Yeah, he gets abducted by the aliens, and that's where Fox canceled them. And then the immediate next season picks up on that storyline and stuff. Yeah. Kind of syndicates it a little bit more storyline wise again. But yeah. pianos, guys. This has been an episode. Yep. There is piano in the Family Guy theme song. <laughs> Thanks, guys. This is true. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Factually correct. We stumbled. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you were saying, like, you know, throughout your, your progression. Good night. <laughs> Paul just keeps going. <laughs> Good night, people. Good night. God bless.